So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Planets Through Ascendance. And today we're going to be covering Mars in the fourth house of your birth chart, especially <coughs> for Sagittarius Ascendant people. So what happens when Mars for Sagittarius Ascendant is in the fourth house? Okay. And it's in the sign of Pisces. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, check out the links here, carisastrology.com. We'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where currently it's the most amazing course, wristwatch course, the most successful course out there, changing lives with a simple thing. No, no other type of remedy. It's like an invisible remedy. It's useful and it's with you all the time. Um, so, Mars in the fourth house in Pisces, because Mars for Sagittarius Ascendant also rules the fifth house with the sign of Aries and the twelfth house with the sign of Scorpio. So, one thing you will see um, this is a position where even though Mars is in the fourth house and it's tattva is water right like deep water you will notice the family you grew up in mostly all the males within the family including even brothers younger brother are highly energetic about achieving goals achieving all kinds of high goals high you know uh, expectations they have great expectations but only 15 percent manifests why is that because here mars is in a very weak tattva of pisces what happens with such people especially in a, even in a female's horoscope in, in, with, with your husband they're gonna be the in their own world. They're going to be in their own zone. Right, Brad? Um, they have like these fantasy that they want to achieve. Like especially with Mars in the fourth, you will see they will always talk about um, wanting to have the best house, the biggest house. And I'm going to do this when I have this big house and I'm going to do that in the big house. But then when you ask them, what are you doing for that big house? What is it that you are trying to accomplish it's like it's hodgepodge of ideas and work ideas at the same time one thing we do see though with this mars is that father will get inheritance of property in his life the, see mars in the fourth house doesn't necessarily guarantees property it's not like mars in the fourth house okay you'll have property for this you have to look at venus and you have to look at a relationship of Jupiter with Venus to determine the property part. But here what Mars kind of instills is that your father gains property. The other thing we also see, younger siblings love to burn through money, especially on vacations. Especially they will love investing money. Younger siblings will love investing money whether it's on land whether it's you know it's in the markets but they become quite risk taker due to their fantasies and yes it doesn't matter what tattva see tattva as in the element is it fire space you know water earth mars is going to do his mars thing 80 to 90 percent is going to do his Mars thing, meaning one will always have disputes with the mother, especially related to foreign lands, desire to go to foreign lands, related to what investments are being made, spending money or donating some money somewhere. This is where the disputes will happen with the mother. And especially the other disputes that takes place is whenever you travel to a place near water. Some phone calls, some text messages will come either from mother to the son or son to the mother. 
And especially with this, the age 7 and 25th, you will see some kind of like either injury, some kind of a cut, bruises happen. Something that you kind of remember and something that will actually even leave a mark. And it would either happen on a thigh or shoulders. And <clears throat> because of this position, you will see with Mars in the fourth house. If your in-laws have a property that they have given on rent, that property will be in a legal dispute. Or the occupant will refuse to leave. Occupant will not pay on time. It'll bring tremendous stress connected with the properties they have on rent. If, if they have five properties, one out of five have to be 100%. The other thing with Mars in the uh, 4,000 Pisces, what it'll do creates controversies and conspiracies connected with paternal grandmother okay especially either related to one of the children or related to her home and your investments and especially actually with mars in the fourth and pisces your donations somehow your donations will cause some kind of controversy like you donate somewhere Okay, because you wanted to. And suddenly, whatever the family members or friends find out, oh my God, you donated there. How dare you donate there? Why would you donate there? That's not who we are. That's not the type of people we donate to. Let's say, for example, this person donated to some political party that they liked. While the rest of the family is against that. And that creates, that becomes the source of that controversies, conspiracies. And usually you will see um, with Mars, when it's in the fourth house, your home will either have a light red brick design or light pinkish brick design or like a faded red. There will be some faded red wall and I'm talking about exterior. Exterior. And usually with Mars in the fourth house in Pisces, you will ultimately move to a southern direction from where you live and near a body of water, including vast ocean. But that's just small part of it because the real part of the type of property you will really be in will be Venus. The other thing, your mother will definitely be raising your children. You will see you'll always leave your children to your mother. Well, like when you go to work and you want to, instead of taking them to a daycare, you will leave them with your mother. Like especially the children, source of happiness and comfort come through your mother. And, they, and especially you will see more than you, mother motivates the grandchildren to do well in life. But how like your relationship is, because look, you can still fight, but you will die for your mother, right? So we don't see that relationship here with Mars in the fourth. We have to see the whole chart to determine that part. But yeah, what I'm saying is going to be the factual things that you will deal with, with this particular Mars. Okay. And, and then the other thing, especially in a female's horoscope, um, post-marriage, either the husband, you will be moving to foreign lands with the husband or their career, suddenly, the, whomever you marry suddenly gets into investment or suddenly gets into um, logistics. They'll get into logistics or they'll get into investments. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Mars in the fourth house for Sagittarius Ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these topic videos. So if you want to know everything about your chart and all the readings, consultations, and my academy, check out the links here. 
Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.